Okay, uh, Devin, I hear that you took the train across Russia. Yes, I started in Moscow, traveled through Russia, Mongolia, and ended up in China. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. It took three weeks. I did it as part of a tour with ten other people. Yeah, that's, that's a cool trip. Mm -hmm. That must have cost a lot of money. It did cost a lot of money, but not a lot of people can say that they have done that. Yeah. So um, I looked in, I researched the trip several months before I actually took it. A friend and I did it together. And there was one other American, and the rest of the people were from Switzerland. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Uh, what was the landscape like? A lot of it was flat, yeah. and for miles around, you could see absolutely nothing. Really? And as you got into Siberia, there was scattered trees, and when we got into Mongolia, you could see some camels every once in a while. Oh, wow. But besides that, there was a whole lot of nothing. Wow, just wild camels. Wild camels around the drinking hole. Pretty yes, cool. saw that more than once. Man. Uh, so how did you eat on this train? We stopped several times along the way, and upon every platform you could buy food that local people were selling. A lot of it consisted of dried fish and other types of Russian delicacies, mm -hmm. and a lot of noodles okay. that you heated up with hot water. Every train had hot water on it in every carriage, and so you were always able to make noodles if you were desperate. Wow. So was this a luxurious train, or was it a pretty basic...